The world as a whole is a very diverse place. There are countless individuals of all ethnicities and races. With such diversity, why should people be put into simplified categories? Why should an individual be assumed to align with the stereotype simply because of their skin color? Stereotypes are simply conceptions, but can be associated with severe negativity. They represent ideas, images, and rigid views from a prejudiced perspective. The idea of stereotypes once meant nothing to me. However, by the time I reached my teenage years, stereotypes became an unwelcome part of my life. I have spent most of my life in Northern Virginia, where I live in a town called Winchester. My parents moved to the area because they thought it would be a good place for me to grow up. There are many middle class families there, but most of them are not minorities. When I was a child, I never recognized the difference between my family and many other black families in Winchester. My childhood was memorable, and I was fortunate enough to have ample positive experiences. Throughout elementary school, I easily made friends and I enjoyed learning new things in the classroom. When the time came, I was excited to attend middle school as I thought I was going to have the best time of my life. Unfortunately, that was not the case. I was often bullied in middle school, but there was one specific moment in which I felt utterly discriminated against and taken advantage of. I remember it vividly. I was in the cafeteria having lunch with some of my classmates, and somehow our conversation shifted. One of the girls sitting with me asked why I always pack my lunch instead of eating the lunches from school. She assumed that every black student at school qualified to participate in a program in which they received free lunches due to their financial situation. You're not rich, she remarked. You know you should get free lunch too. I was deeply angered by her audacity to place me into such a category just because of my race. What stood out to me the most was the fact that she herself was also black. Honestly, I was confused by what she said to me too because I was unfamiliar with the free lunch program. This situation was one of the first instances in my life in which I recognized that people of different classes have different concerns. Just because my classmate and I are of the same race, she assumed we are also both from working class families and thus qualified for the free lunch program. Unfortunately, being harassed and questioned by peers of my own race continued throughout middle school. Because I did not meet their expectation of a typical black girl, they treated me as if I did not belong. I was often accused of acting white when honestly I was just being myself. Middle school was a tough time for me. However, I am glad to say that those who bullied me also unintentionally taught me valuable lessons. Over those four years, I learned to ignore the negative things people said to me. I did not care if people found it unusual for me to be from a middle class family or if they expected me to act a certain way just because I'm black. I am an individual with the same rights and liberties that each American citizen is entitled to and I am not a stereotype.